It's an issue that's becoming ever more controversial. The shoot, don't shoot debate in the law enforcement community. Videos of deadly confrontations surfacing and people can watch them again and again, voicing their own opinions of how the situation should be handled. Yeah, police are especially under the microscope when making those split second life or death decisions. So we wondered, how would you handle it? We put a viewer who is passionate about this issue to the test. CBS 42's Ariana Garza shows us what happens next. And we want to warn you, some of the video is graphic. It's from an actual shooting that claimed a life. Exclusive new video shows the tense moments when Rodney Williams was pepper sprayed, then shot and killed at an East Birmingham, Texaco after a heated argument with the owner's husband just over a year ago. Ty Nguyen was never charged with a crime for Williams' death, but Wahoma Neighborhood Vice President Robert Walker led the charge to get the gas station shut down anyway. If a guy have, has a gun in his hand, then if, if, if he's not using it, he's not going to use it. You know, so if, if, if he's there and there's a gun in his hand, they, in most cases, they can talk him down. They can talk him out of that. In the video, it appears Williams has a gun in his right hand just before he is shot and runs away. Walker tells CBS 42 he thinks Nguyen overreacted since the thick and possibly bulletproof glass was closed and then opened back up to shoot Williams. Walker thinks police officers can also overreact in use of force situations. He is a concealed carry pistol holder, but he's never been in a use of force situation himself. And then I'm coming up. So we put him through several with the help of the retired Birmingham police officers who now run Sheepdog Firearms in Trussville. Rolling. In these scenarios, Walker is a police officer. So it's time to call me over so What did you call me? I cannot! I was gonna shoot myself, man. If this scenario were real, Walker would have killed a suicidal man. A lot of thought process happens really, really quick. Thankfully, he's only carrying a CO2 gun. Uh, when, when you pulled the pistol, mm -hmm. I thought you were being aggressive toward me. Yes, sir. But instead, you was aggressive towards the set. And I, I should have been there to help you, but instead I, I harmed you. Walker went through several more scenarios, each time posing as a police officer making a routine traffic stop. Could I see your license and res yes, registration, sir. please? You want my wallet or you want me to take it out? No, just take it out. He fired his gun during nearly every one of these scenarios as a police officer, often too late to save his own life. It just goes to show that it's a split second. It's not even a whole second. It's a split part of a second. That officer has to make a decision about what to do. When Walker went through a final scenario as a regular civilian being approached by a panhandler. I, I, I can't help you. You need to get a job. Walker told CBS 42 he didn't expect to learn anything from this experience before he met with us, but he actually did learn one thing. Trainer. Trainer. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. still have the same ideals you did before. You just hope that people who are in this position as a citizen or as an officer get the proper training. Get the proper training to, uh, uh, to go into these situations where everybody get to go home. Yeah. Or jail. Walker tells me he still believes the shooting of Rodney Williams was wrong. Jefferson County District Attorney Mike Anderton tells me he was not the DA when the shooting was ruled justified, but he tells me Walker actually brought this new video of the shooting to his attention. Anderton, though, stands by the previous ruling that the shooting was justified. Ariana Garza, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.